Are you ready to hustle? I need to hustle, hustle. Welcome to The Hustle with Justin Harrison, the ultimate podcast for money, motivation, and inspiration. Hustlers, today we have a budding new entrepreneur ready to make his mark on the world. Hi, Justin. My name is Kush. I'm from Durban, and I'm a beginner entrepreneur. Uh, I've taken my passion and turned it into a business. But before I get to my question i just want to say thank you for a uh, you know offering to help and of offering to help me with your expertise in answering uh my question or trying to help me i really appreciate that and i thank you in advance i offer a sound system for hire i set up and run the audio for live gigs and functions i have had a few jobs through word of mouth but business has been a little bit non-existent of late can you please help me with ideas on how to market my business and you know so i'm able to secure more clients once again thank you in advance much appreciated i love me the smell of fresh blood in the bullpen kush welcome to entrepreneurship i'm going to answer all of your marketing questions today but before we do that i want to start with the biggest most important thing of all Following your passions in business is absolutely fantastic and I encourage everybody to do what they love. But just remember something, if you can't turn your passions into money, it is worthless. It is all very well being passionate about something, but at the end of the day, you have to make money. Business is about making money. Don't fool yourself, don't kid yourself. If you don't make money, I don't care how passionate you are about something, that passion is going to run out very quickly. So don't be blinded by passion remember business is about money it is about roi it is about making sure you make bank and making bank is not about your passions it is about making sure there are willing customers on the other side of the transaction prepared to make you money prepared to hand over cash for the product or service that you're offering this is how you make bank Hustlers, if you have questions for me, remember you can send them via voice notes to me on WhatsApp, just like Kirsch did on 061-792-9495. And all you have to do is enter the keyword hustle and follow the prompts. If you are shy, you can send me an email, moneytribe21, that's 21, moneytribe21 at gmail.com. Now let's talk about getting customers because this is ultimately what your question comes down to. How do you get more customers? And this is the thing that you should be focusing most of your time on. In fact, this is the biggest mistake that most people make when they enter into business. They spend all of their time on the frivolous details instead of focusing their time on customer acquisition. In fact, you need to follow the 80-20 rule. 80% of your time needs to be focused on marketing and acquiring new customers. This is the only way to grow your customer base. It is the only way to grow your business and it is the only way to ensure you succeed. You need to think about marketing and advertising as a verb. It is something you have to wake up and do every single day of your life. It is not a passive activity. It is not something you set and forget. It is something that has to be at the top of your list every single day and something that you have to actively engage in. The next tip I wanna give you is the one that is probably most overlooked by most entrepreneurs and that is that you have to go fetch the business. I always tell my salespeople, go fetch. Business is about going and fetching customers, going and fetching the next deal, going and fetching the next sale. If you think you can passively sit back and wait for business to come to you, you will never succeed. I don't care how good your product or service is, you have to go out there and aggressively fetch customers, fetch leads, fetch prospects and turn that into money. The next thing you need to understand is that marketing and advertising is essentially a passive activity. You're essentially telling people about your business, but other than that, you're waiting for the business to come to you. That is a very passive approach. And this is why you need to think about marketing and advertising as the first step. It is passive and you need to do something that is way more active to convert people to become actual paying customers. And this is where lead generation, lead nurturing comes into effect. 
you have to actively work on generating leads for your business, nurturing those leads and ultimately turning them into customers. If you are not actively doing this and if this is not the purpose of your advertising, you are never going to succeed. You have to funnel advertising to a method of generating leads, nurturing those leads and ultimately turn those leads into paying customers. This is how you grow a business. And this leads me to my favorite saying of all, which is business is a contact sport. It is about how many contacts you have, how many contacts you know, and how many contacts you make with potential leads, customers, and prospects. The very first thing you need to be doing every single day is to be working your contacts. You need to be softly reminding them that you're still around, providing value, giving them free information, letting them know what you have to offer, and this will ultimately lead to business. There are endless ideas on the information that you can provide for free to add value to potential customers that might ultimately end up being actual customers. You could provide free consultations, you could provide free informational guides, pretty much anything that would add value to A, the customer, and B, the actual sales process. Now let's talk about the marketing and advertising. Even if you don't have any budget to spend, you should be sitting down every single day and writing down a list of 10 places that you can market and advertise, even those places that are for free. For example, classifieds, websites, even going to notice boards at the local church, for example, or community centers. Pretty much anywhere where you can get your name out, you should be making a list of these places and actively going and testing. Last but not least, I want to talk about guerrilla marketing because guerrilla marketing is probably the one thing that every new budding entrepreneur has the greatest opportunity to succeed with. Guerrilla marketing is about taking massive risks. It is about making sure you make a big noise and a big splash and that people get to hear about who you are and what it is that you have to offer. Take some bold risks. Go and do something crazy, generate some PR and get the eyes and ears on what it is that you're doing. This could be something around social media, you could hold up traffic, anything that is wild, crazy and gets the eyes and ears on you. Just make sure you don't get arrested. Hustlers, if you're finding value from this podcast, please share it with your friends and family or anybody that you believe has got a deep desire to do their own hustle and get ahead in life. Also, please leave us a rating on your favorite podcasting platform. We have a deep desire to change the entrepreneurial space in South Africa, and we want to make sure we get to the top of the podcasting platform. So you giving us a rating and leaving some feedback would really help us. And don't forget, if you got hustle questions, I'm standing by ready to answer. All you have to do is drop me a WhatsApp with your voice note asking me your specific question. 061-792-9495, starting with a keyword hustle. Or you can email me moneytribe21, that's 21, at gmail.com. And remember the hustler's code. Hustle makes muscle. Stay motivated by the hustle. Talkers talk, but hustlers hustle. Find more episodes at ecr.co.za or your favorite podcast app.